Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 17 of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, I'm going to show you how to export your finished podcast episode out of Audacity and into the correct format so that your podcast host will accept it. Podcast hosts can be very picky about the file size and the file formats that they will accept, so we need to get it right. Also, you want to avoid losing any audio quality so that all your hard work doesn't go to waste. So here we are back in our podcast session. If you've seen the previous episodes, if we looked at the podcast, you'll, you'll, know, you'll recognize this. The goal today is to get the podcast at the correct level or volume um, that the, the podcast hosts will be happy with and the, the streaming services, uh, also getting it in the right file format, file size and everything. So in part 15, we did some EQ, some compression, some normalization, just to get everything sounding smooth and balanced and a sufficient volume. If you missed that, then I'll leave a link to part 15 on the screen now. Now in terms of the loudness, we want the podcast to be uh, loud enough. Now, when your podcast gets up uploaded to the streaming services like Spotify, like Apple Podcasts and so on. They do do some of their own normalization um, and, and level changes to, to get it sounding right with the rest of with the rest of the content on the platform. They all have their own specifications on how loud your audio needs to be. For example, Spotify and Amazon, I believe, uh, they want their audio on there to be at minus 14 LUFs. LUFs is a, a loudness measurement. Um, and then for Apple Podcasts, it's minus 16. Now, I normally make sure that when I export my podcasts, they are about minus 16 LUFs because it will get turned up anyway for Spotify and it'll be fine for the other platforms. Now, with Audacity, you don't have the tools to check uh, the loudness particularly uh, accurately, at least not with the default plugins, but that's okay. Um, we're going to try and get it as, as close as we can to the right loudness before exporting and then the, the platforms should do the rest for you. So we've already normalized everything. It's already loud enough. You can see you know, when we play the audio. For work or they're talking to people for work. Either. Instead of hovering around the minus 18 mark, um, you know, they're rec minus 18 dB peaking around minus 10. I, I would assume it's a fair amount quieter than, than minus 16 LUFs though. There is one tool that you can use. If you highlight the audio, go into effect and find loudness normalization. It does let you push the audio up to so it can reach um, reach reach that target of minus 16 LUFs. If you click on OK, you'll see you get a huge boost to the level. But the problem is that's hit that's clipping. That's hitting the top of uh, the track there, which is going to sound horrible. So we don't want that to happen. With some other software, you get some tools to some limiter tools to avoid that from happening. But not in Audacity. Um, but that's fine. We just want to boost the level a little bit more if possible. So uh, I'm just going to find that 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 peak there that the, the compressor didn't quite catch in the previous part and reduce that by three or four db and then i'm going to highlight all the audio you can do this go to effect go to limiter towards the bottom here now you want the type to be hard limit and what that's going to do is stop it's going to push the level up but it's going to stop it from going over a certain point because another specification for the podcasts to be uploaded is that they shouldn't be clipping, basically. They shouldn't hit that zero decibel mark. So if we limit to minus one decibel, the audio will not be going over there. I'm then going to put yes for apply makeup gain. That's going to bring the level up and then click OK on that. OK, and then we'll do the exact same thing with the other one. Limiter, this might not do much because there's a couple of peaks that are already probably hitting that minus minus one dB mark, but let's go for it. Okay, there we go. Let's just check that one here. Yeah. Um, and then they've gone on to record. And okay, so we've just boosted the level a little bit without it clipping. Um, and again, you don't have to worry too much at this stage. Maybe when you move on to different pieces of software, uh, there'll be more tools available for you. But at this stage, this is going to be fine. And like I said, the, the streaming services will normalize things for you. So you've got the podcast edited. Um, you've got everything balanced, sounding great. Now it's time to export it into an MP3 that you can upload. So let's go to the end. And we've got that fade out on our outro song. 
I normally find the end of all your audio and move over a couple of seconds. So we're ending at one hour, uh, six minutes, 33 seconds. Let's grab it at 35 seconds and just drag with the, with the left mouse button, let's zoom out a bit. Um, and then you can grab it up here as well. Drag it all the way to the beginning. So that's the audio that we've selected. That's what we want to export. Then you're gonna to go to file. If you find the export option, you want to, for podcasts, export as MP3. It's a compressed format. Um, that's what they, they like on the platforms because they're smaller and it's mostly dialogue. So the audio quality that you lose um, from, from the compression is pretty negligible. And then just find where you wanna, wanna save it to. You've got this export audio window here. Let's just leave it on this default for now. Change your file name. You've got all these other file types you can export as, but we're gonna leave that on MP3. And this is where you're setting the quality of audio, basically. So you've got quality here. You can see that it's set on 170 to 210 kilobits per second. As it says, it's standard. This is kind of a medium level for an MP3 file. We wanna decrease it though, actually, because these files are so large uh, and a lot of the podcast hosts so have limits on how, how large the file size should be. So click on constant for the bitrate mode so we know exactly what we're getting. Then go down to quality and find 128 kilobits per second. That's a reasonable quality, it's not too low. Uh, if you do have a really long podcast, sort of two, three hours maybe, you can go lower than that because the higher the quality, the, the bigger the file size. So I'd say you can get away with going down to maybe 96 KB per second before you hear some real degradation on the quality. Um, if you have a lot of music in your podcast, you want to keep it to 128 or higher. So we're going to go joint stereo. It's going to put that into, it's going to combine everything into one stereo track and then simply click save. Warning, your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one stereo file. That's what we want. And then you're gonna get this box here, which lets you add your metadata or ID3 tags as they're called. ID3 tags are some information tags that you can add to an MP3 file so that your media players or your podcast hosts or things will, will take that information um, and, and see things like the artist name, the track name. So artist name, you could put your name or the podcast name. Uh, then track number, you could put whatever episode of the podcast it is. Um, this doesn't matter too much because you can change it in the host, but it helps you organize the files if you're saving them onto your computer as well. So let's just, uh, and then discussion with Adrian. Presumably your podcast has much catchier uh, episode names than that, but yep, just get all the info there uh, and then click OK. So you can see that's gonna take a little while. Uh, it's quite a long episode. It's got, got just under a minute remaining, but that's fine, you can have a little break and wait for your MP3 file to be created. And then when it's done, you won't get a confirmation or anything, it, the box will just disappear and you'll be back into the project window. But what I'll do before I upload anything is just check that file basically. So let's re-import that, uh, that MP3 that we just saved. And then we go, we've got our podcast loaded up, it looks good, uh, you can see it's in stereo, it's got the two, uh, the, the, the two channels and then if we go to the beginning, we can have a listen and you'll hear your music and your your dialogue and everything is all all in one track. Welcome to Talk Design, the show where creative design is Joe F. There you go, we've got the music, we've got the voices, awesome. it's, that's brilliant. It's all sorted. Uh, all that's left to do now is upload it to our podcast host. So that's it. It's quite a simple process, isn't it? You just need to keep in mind which bit rate and which file types and things to use. As a rule of thumb, it's normally going to be MP3 and 128 kilobits per second. In part 18, we're going to continue to look at exporting. We'll look at how to export music. Uh, and how to get that right for the streaming services and CD. And after that, if you've stuck with the course right from the beginning, you'll have gone through all the five main parts of, of the course. That's set up an interface, recording, editing, mixing and exporting. But stick with me because we've got some extra bonus tips and hidden features coming up. 
And of course, at the end of the course, I'm gonna be sharing with you something that you can download for free to continue your learning further. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're the first to be notified. Leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below, what's your favorite podcast? Feel free to leave a link and maybe I can take a listen and, and discover something new. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 18.